power cut is not you know like uh, it's about the climate changes also uh, during this climate changes it's abruptly changing you know uh, not only in Meghalaya uh, all over the country now when you look at the you know the the level of water at uh, Umiam is very down and then but the thing is that government has to reconsider and rethink about the power cuts especially during this particular examination time now it's affecting the school children and not only the school children even the patients in the hospitals also just recently i think a minister has already declared three days you know uh, uh, what do you call this one leave for the school children actually even now i think so then uh, but still the examination is going on which is totally co very much hampering the students also even during daytime also those who are totally dependent on the you know website and all and because uh, we are not getting uh, much of the what do you call it, the books and other uh, curriculums and all so those who are dependent on those website and all i think uh, they are being totally disturbed not only the students even the patients also now i have seen uh, one two patients who are dying just because of uh, not having the you know proper medication because uh, certain in certain area of uh, health department what i'm feeling is that like uh, they have to keep certain medicines at the certain you know temperature which they cannot do so because of the fluctuations of the you know the current and then it's a very serious i think the government has to take this matter very seriously uh, uh, even the ksu other you know uh, ngos they are demanding that at least you know uh, at a certain point of time that uh, current should be given but um, one what i'm feeling is that there should be some kind of an alternative to look into the matter of this hospitals and other health sectors now before going to advise the people in the garukils i would like to tell our forest department a soil department even the you know primary sector departments agriculture and so and so forth now we have to make aware of our people also uh, especially in the rural base area where they practice still practice zooming cultivation even now so when you look at they're still practicing the zooming cultivation even now so that's why the heat heat in garo hills is more it seems like higher because when you go to the villages they still burn the you know they're still practicing the jhum cultivation whereas every nook and corner of the you know the uh, uh, perennial waters and all where it comes out it's getting dry up now and then certain uh, area of plantations where we are doing the monocropping and all i think we have to rechange all those things ideas and all and then soil department we have been telling soil department not to you know grow the uh, monocropping it's like rubber plantation and other other others like that so i think <laughs> not only the uh, not only the villages even the department also we have to reconsider and rethink you know uh rethink uh, uh, what to do what to do and then how to go about and then now look at the west cassias randomly every now and then the chopping of the trees uh, chopping uh, you know smuggling of trees is every now and then happening so these are the areas where we have to take care